It's Madden NFL 24, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Chicago Bears and the Kansas City Chiefs, and it's all up next. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you to GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And CD, you and I, we always enjoy our visits to Kansas City. These fans among the best in football and they should be a happy punch too their guys are defending super bowl champions and the reason that they are is because the offense and the defense they complement each other so well offense gets off the fast starts allows the defense to just rush the passer which is a strength of what they do that and good barbecue kansas city big time favorites and then for the visiting Bears, they want to wipe the slate clean from 2022. Now, working in their favor, we've seen plenty of teams in the NFL make big turnarounds from year to year. What can the Bears do to you know, just get back closer to maybe seven, eight wins, Charles? Well, they want to coalesce all this young talent that they're accumulating and guys that they brought in from the outside and start to build a culture, a feeling around this team that they know they can compete week in and week out. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So here come the Bears to take over on offense behind their third-year quarterback, former Ohio State Buckeye Charles, Justin Fields. We all knew Fields was an incredible athlete coming out of college. And last season, he unleashed it upon the NFL ran for over 1,100 yards and would have broken the quarterback single season record if he had played the full season. He also threw 17 touchdown passes, and that's the next jump for him. More consistency as a passer. A man who led the league in yards per carry last year, it's Khalil Herbert. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole is not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. Now a deep ball here, hauled in just past the 50. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes the starch right out of them. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Here's Fields. Claypool with another catch. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical it would be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle, because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. This one he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. My high school football coach was very fond of saying, you've got to meet force with force. And on a short yardage running play, that's what you're going to encounter. And how about them picking up the first down on that one? On first down, Fields being chased out. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Michael Dana, he's the one that got home and 
takes him down for a loss of nine. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. On second down, a run with Herbert. Chicago, Khalil Herbert, 24 yards. And the Bears are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass, let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Santos with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that drives seven plays in length, and the last play, a really nice run that culminated in the touchdown. to the touchdown. Here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that's caught left side by the tight end, Gray. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Mahomes firing complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play? Call it a gain of four on first and that'll make it second down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Well, Brandon, obviously no panic in them. They gave up the touchdown. You know, their defensive side did that. But he's already taken them back downfield. I love this field general that they've got. It's almost like he went to the defensive captain and said, don't worry about it. We've got you. Now they got first and goal. Yeah, we're seeing punch, counter punch, and this could be setting the table for quite the game. I like that. Let's, let's go ahead and put it in the boxing ring, right? You're going to get hit sometimes. Can you respond and hit back? And they're trying to do exactly that. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. 
but the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. The ball mere inches from the white line on third and goal. Now Mahomes. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. And no move to take the offense on the field. They're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth and goal. Mahomes going to throw. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. And that's the way to find pay during Patrick Mahomes. Hey, you remember some of the scrambles in the playoffs last year while he's playing on a bad wheel? Oftentimes, he's maneuvering just to find a way to throw the football. But last season, four touchdowns on the ground, a career high, continuing to develop as a runner, and often finding the end zone these days. Extra point by Butker is on target, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It's a gain of 35. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. On the option left is Fields. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Now it's Fields. And his throw is incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Fields. Finding more on the out route for the completion. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 20-yard line. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. 
I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Ball at the 14 for second and five. They'll go again with Herbert. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you, you want are two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. From the two now, second and goal. A play fake, now fields to throw. Escapes the sack, but now he's swallowed up and taken down. A huge win defensively there on the sack setting him back 12 yards and now third and goal when you're this close to the goal line you got to expect pressure from the defense so the ball's got to come out fast got to get out of his hands quicker following the sack they go from the 13 on third and goal Now Fields. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw some away on that snap. And what those faces, we advance further into this game. That play would be in the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points are given away? It could have cost them a long game. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. And they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And a productive gain out to the 14 after starting at the 7. It's a gain of 7. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up 7 yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. They go play action. Now Mahomes. That's Marquez Valdez Scantling. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Second quarter from KC. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now here's Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now it's Mahomes again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide it. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Mahomes to throw once more. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 32-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 32-yard line. They go play fake. Mahomes. This is caught, and all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Sky Moore, 32 yards, and the Chiefs have taken the lead. When you give up a long touchdown drive, you're looking for a silver lining. In this case, it's the fact that your offense had a chance to rest, and now they can come out in the field charged up and ready to go. Butker on for the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was Sky Moore capping things off with a touchdown reception. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. Taking it at about the one. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Chicago offense set to get started. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Now nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Group effort had Kansas City finishing second in the NFL with 55 sacks last season. The no doubt leader of the effort, though, was Jones at 15 and a half sacks, which matched a career high, finishing third in the Defensive Player of the Year voting. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Field's going to keep it running right. And the Chiefs' D closes in on him again, and they drop him behind the line. They lost four there, and it's third down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. There's a 
a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Waiting on it will be Richie James. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And they fell behind early, but since then, two touchdowns and a 14-7 lead. Yeah, they found the end zone on their first two drives, and even more so after the defense gave up the first lead. But these last two drives, obviously, they inspired their D because they shut them down the last time out. They hope to continue that string. On play action, it's Mahomes. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. To throw, it's Mahomes. He's got the connection to Moore. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. He is putting on a show in this second quarter, racking up the receiving yards as he has a first down. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. From the 35, here's second and six. Here's Pacheco once again. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Third and five. Mahomes now to throw. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw caught by Tony. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. From the 23, here's second and six. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. That's complete to Tony. Back-to-back -to -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, the Holmes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez Scantling. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one for Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have taken a two touchdown lead now. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great work, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now 21-7.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. But now the Bears coming out as they get ready. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Well, start with the option. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Field's going to keep it once more, and he'll get this up over the 25 and the 26. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields. And his throw is going to be incomplete. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now a second and ten. Herbert powering up the middle. And this will be a Bears first down as good running gets him to about the 44. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Off play action. Fields on the move to his left. Fields hit and the ball is loose. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right, a lost opportunity. Now an option play on second down. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Now here's Trenton Gill on to punt. James now to return. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. The last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six to six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, the ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 
Finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. On first down, Mahomes. Looking for Tony on the out route, and he's got him. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well, and he didn't get that done on that play. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Mahomes now on first down. Over the middle and completes a more. And he's brought down. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. And again, it's Mahomes. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. And he's taken down inside the 30. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Mahomes now on first down. Another catch for Valdez Scanlon. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And not liking what he's seeing here, Mahomes is going to call a timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He finds Moore in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. We switch the attention now to Khalil Herbert as this offense comes out for their next drive. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat Make sure he touches it a few times, but as you pointed out, 
Use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? And he's got the hook up to Moore. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now Fields. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Fields. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Cairo Santos, former Chiefs kicker, on for the field goal try. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. Santos' kick is up and through, and the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the reigning league MVP and Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes, who did his thing. He was downright amazing with three touchdown passes and another one scored on the ground for good measure. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. For the start of the third quarter, the Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, 
good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner, yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scandling. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. Mahomes going to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be Travis Kelsey. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 54 yards. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So many times you think of these tight ends catching the ball already in the end zone, but today's tight end, they can run after the catch two to score. They're big, they're strong, but they're extremely athletic, and they can surprise the heck out of you when they get the ball in their hands and they're running away from the defense. Extra point by Butker is on target, and they open the lead up now to 25. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late, that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. And they run the option here on first and ten. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Chris Jones that time coming in with a tackle behind the line. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Fields throw complete here to commit. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be third down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. 
fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. Now second and nine. On the option right is Fields. Still going. Touchdown, Chicago! Just a spectacular run by the always dynamic Justin Fields. And the Bears are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that'll cut the lead down to 18. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free, and it's second down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. To throw, it's Mahomes. Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantling. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. But he's turning in a nice performance. Remember, he had the touchdown earlier, and this time he's able to beat double coverage to grab it. I think that if he weren't worried about a taunting penalty, he'd run by the opposing team's bench and say, guys, two's not going to be enough. You better get some more guys trying to cover me. He knows how to get open downfield. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. And that'll be caught by Tony. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. Running left to give to Pacheco. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Second and 10. Now here's Mahomes. Caught, 
Kelsey, left side. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 17-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. And now a tip of the cap to the man under center, Charles. He just went over 400 yards passing in this ball game. He's got the touchdown passes to boot, taking pretty good care of the ball. Just all around a really solid performance. Yeah, just check, 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 and check, right? Because he certainly showed he was worthy of the trust that his team put in him. A handful of touchdowns to his credit thus far. Now he's just crossing up yardage milestones and more rules. His name has to be in serious discussion for player of the game. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. From the two now, second and goal. And they'll run again. But he will lose yardage here. Back to the four-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be. Touchdown! Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs had six to their lead. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have been ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Butker now to add the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. A 10-play drive that time. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. On to the field now come the Bears. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Starting on the ground with Herbert. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Here's Fields. Locates Mooney on the out route. So five yards here, five on the play. And now it's third and four. But well, that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Back to throw, Fields. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Did you see that route the way that I did? Yeah. I thought he was trying to get Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not until he came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Field. 
Fields on first down. A quick throw there is incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. A third quarter action from Kansas City, second down and 10. And the slot man goes in motion left. A handoff for Herbert. And he'll be tackled at the 45 following a gain of just two. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball is even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Throwing on third down, Fields. And that is incomplete. And you can tell just by looking at him that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here. And as a head coach, time to earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together as that brings up another fourth down. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on to kick it away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. Another drive coming for KC, and we'll see Marquez Valdez scantling once again. He sort of just keeps chipping away at this defense. Hasn't had a spectacular game, but here in the third quarter, they've known all game long that he's there. He's the type of guy that frustrates you if you're playing defense, because when you think you've taken away something or you think you've got him in check, he comes up with another catch, the chains move, or he finds a way to get it to the end zone. He's that guy that drives you crazy, and offenses love him. He's hoping to drive him more crazy here coming up. They go play action. Now Mahomes throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen many of his passes fall incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. That's complete to Tony. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game. And this continues as we see here. Coverage. Not been very good, soft in spots. There's an easy throw and catch for another first down. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Now Mahomes. That is caught. And he will have a Chiefs first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. So second down and 10, once again, they'll go from the 40. And again, it's Mahomes. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. 
And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 22-yard line. Three quarters have come and gone. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Mahomes throw caught by Tony. It'll be a gain of five at its second down. Now it's Mahomes again. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10 yard line. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. On first down, Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. And that's good for a gain of six. And it'll be second down. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. One of the tight ends comes in motion. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And this time he is in. Yes. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. And you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet, put on the baseball cap, and watch the rest of this one from the sideline. His fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? Yes, sir. But that's a heck of a performance, isn't it? Because they've had no answer for him at all, all game long. Receivers have been open constantly, and he hasn't missed a single one of them. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, They've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Now a first down throw, Fields. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. 
Now it's Fields. Finds Komet on the quick slam. Did a good job to get him to the ground quickly right there at the 36-yard line. Fields to commit there for a Chicago first. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Chris Jones able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. But when this game is done, the credit will go to the consistent pressure on the quarterback as a huge cause of this win. Most teams are happy if they get a few of these games per year. You know they're going to watch this tape over and over, try to identify what's working, and keep it going. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. Still second down. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Here's Fields. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off, not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra. Really helps him on third down, makes it manageable now. He'll fire deep, looking for more. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball has been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Fourth down, Fields has to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Well, you feel the excitement build on those fourth down plays. Defense has to stay out there, but for the offense, when that thing doesn't work out, such disappointment. It can absolutely be a deflator, but how about the defensive guys? If they stop you on fourth down, they are absolutely elevated going to their bench. They're elevated now. Big stop on fourth down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Pacheco gets it up the gut, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. Second and six. Again, it's Pacheco. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. A good rip by Pacheco. And you have to go back to 1990 with Johnny Johnson with the Cardinals to find a rookie seventh rounder with more rushing yards than he had last season. The 251st pick out of Rutgers took over to KC backfield with 830 yards in 2022. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scantling. That puts him in an excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. Partner, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some primetime games still on the docket, but it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game, and they're not holding back. They're still throwing the football here in the fourth. They certainly are, and let me tell you something. If you're old school, you don't like this at all, but in today's football, you just go ahead and savor it. Watch a team execute at a high level. Doesn't matter what the scoreboard says. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. had six more to their point total and they're on cruise control right now here in the fourth 
But Charles, in this win, they've really just had one speed, and that's been all out. They're still driving the ball downfield despite the circumstances and the big lead, and they just continue to find ways to get into the end zone with ease. They certainly in that zone where almost everything they try is successful and often leads to points. Teams don't get those types of games very often, so when they do, many of them just want to take advantage of it to the last second. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A shotgun snap, Fields. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. These are running back numbers that he's accumulating right now. Received double-digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark and rushing, in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. Throwing on first down, but this one lines up to be incomplete. He was looking to get that one to DJ Moore, and that'll bring up second down. Out of the gun, Fields. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. Part of my vocabulary isn't that great, but to me, there's only one word that fits this front seven today, and that's dominant. Four and five sacks is already rare in one game. Getting to more than six in one contest while winning by this many points? An absolutely astounding effort by every player involved. Throws the out route and finds Claypool. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. That'll give him eight that time. And it'll be fourth down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out with this one. But the way this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. That pass complete to Moore. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. 
Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down. But the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. Taylor now to return it. Shoves him aside. That'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Fields. That's going to be caught downfield by Mooney. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 36 yards on the play. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Draw play, a give to Herbert. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. From the gun, here's Fields. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. They put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Now Fields. Fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. Santos' kick is up and through, and they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit him, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was in high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level. You hit them, they go through Following the made field goal, out instead is the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick this away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 27. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And he'll be taken down after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Pacheco gets it again on second down. Found a little He's up to about the 37. 72 yards rushing for him now to this point. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started?
On third down, it's Pacheco. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. 47-yard punt, a return of four. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. <laughs> don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling no, again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. Here's Fields now on second down. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Zone coverage here defensively. They're going to let their tight end run a drag across the field. This is where a linebacker gets forced to pass him off. That time, the receiver gets lost a little bit, and he's able to make the catch and pick up good yardage and a first down. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. Scoring game, Charles, that we typically see in the National Football League, but fun to watch these offense.